Hi guys, my name is Ray Prakash and I welcome you all to Rodha. So again, I'm back with this numbers practice session. We are doing two fantastic questions here. Okay, see these two questions guys, try. Hope your preparation is going fine in this level around the uh, cat is very near by now. So I hope your people are preparing very well. So just practice a lot. Okay, in, la in this uh, last 30-40 uh, days, right? just try to prepare at least 30 to 40 questions per day. Okay and uh, five to six LRD assets per day, be in very high practice so that you don't feel rustic in exam. Okay, so this is very important before you, uh, in this last 30, 40 days, right? Okay, I will always keep you telling, keep, te uh, keep telling you that around 30 to 40 questions per day are required. Okay, in quant, okay. Chalo, okay, before and again, so for this high practice, right? So we have this, uh, before we start, we have this T20 trader series again. So this is, uh, this test series are very addictive guys, you got to give this actually. Uh, we have prepared a very nice question bank uh, of around 7,000, 8,000 questions and we are using that question bank here of all moderate to advanced level, right? So it will give you a very good time on practice and analysis is done same day actually. So it will be for CAT 20 right now and uh, T20 basically means here that it is, we have 20 questions in this with 20 minutes, right? And it will go QA. D I L R verbal and V A and R C. Okay, so twenty questions combined, a small tests, and will give you a good, good, good practice in twenty minutes, right? To try to solve all the questions. Uh, thousands of people give this exam daily, right? And uh, you go to you get to know your ranking actually. Where do you stand? And you always try to improving it, right? So when you always try among good competitors, right? So this here the competitors are really good. Those who are giving the exam. Okay. Uh, so you got to start this, if you want to start this, you got to start this, right? The enrollment link, I'll put in the comment here. Okay, you can just uh, uh, click on that comment and go through the link because even if I started this quiz actually, uh, the everyday quiz, you know, right? I, I conduct everyday quiz in the community tab, in my Telegram channel, in my Facebook group, every, everywhere I put that quiz ID. So early people used to tell what is this, uh, what you are doing and all, right? And it is now in 10 days, 12 days, it is so addictive that once I don't post I or I forget or if I'm busy in some work actually, I get a lot of messages in my telegram group or you can see in this uh, uh, this community tab only, right? That uh, this quiz is not happening, quiz is delayed, what happened, right? That's why this is very addictive, right? Practice is a very addictive thing, okay? Once you are very good, with once you are completely involved in this, right? So always we try this for uh, this all, we, this is actually free initiative from an academy, okay? And uh, I'm con I'm constantly involved in improving this uh, uh, question bank and the question levels le levels here. Okay, so just try to enroll it and always remember practice. If you correct, if you practice in a correct way, it is very addictive here. Okay, you want daily this test, you want daily these quizzes, right? So if you are practicing good level questions. In free only you can see the 20 questions here and the 40 questions per day quiz I take, right? You have 60 questions for free and these are live quizzes, right? In very high quality software, uh, live tests will happen, right? And it's absolutely free, absolutely free to everyone. So you must join it, right? All the people from this here, they should join it and they check their level, okay? How you people are doing and then discuss with me uh, any issues are there, okay? Chalo. Now let's come back to the questions here, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, and after this test analysis, right? So always I prefer analysis. So analysis is done straight away. Okay. So after this test, you can just, uh, whenever you click on the enrollment link, uh, same day, uh, you'll get a message of, uh, in your mobile, right? That analysis is happening at this time and, uh, by this educator and you can join that absolutely again free. Okay. Chalo. Now let's start with a few quality questions now. Take care. A series of quality questions we have maintained. And I'm very happy. Look at this. Very nice question. I try, you try this, right? And and I think that if you try this, you'll come to that it's an applica application of what? Wilson's theorem, right? But little bit twisted Wilson's theorem. Okay. Not understand. Look at this question, right? See guys, so it is actually 56 factorial by 19 cube here. What is the remainder when 56 factorial is divided by 19 cube? Okay. Now, Obviously, uh, I taught you a concept of, if you remember, I taught you a concept of cancellation factor here in the remainders, right? Cancellation factors. Okay. Now, once you're, if you see this, so obviously, had it been 57 factorial here, right? Had it been 57 factorial 
डिवाइड बाय 19 क्यूब द रिमाइंडर वुड हैव बीन जीरो करेक्ट राइट बिकॉज फिफ्टी सेवन फैक्टर विल इंक्लूड थ्री नाइनटीन नो इफ यू राइट फिफ्टी सेवन फैक्टर गेल दैट विल बी लाइक समथिंग नाइनटीन क्यूब इंटू सम के डिवाइड बाई नाइनटीन क्यूब एंड द रिमाइंडर एम ट्राइंग टू फाइंड राइट इट हैज टू जीरो जीरो बिकॉज इट विल कैंसल एक्चुअली राइट सो we but it is a 56 factorial here, right that means there are two 19s present here no so if i make it 56 factorial so i can say that there are two 19s present here okay and it won't completely cancel right yeah so in 56 factorial there are two 19s here okay it won't completely cancel right so in cancellation factor what we do we just try to remove that uh common part okay so i think 19 square is the common part here so from from numerator and denominator I'll remove 19 square, right? So for example, see like uh, the number will become like this. Let's say if I start 56 factorial, no? It's like 1 into 2 into 3, it will be 18. Okay. And then 19 will not be there, right? Because 19 I have cancelled out. Okay. So 19 I'll keep it aside as cancellation factor, okay? Then again, it will be like 20, 21, 22. It will go till again where? Uh, till next 18 numbers, right? That is 37. Again, 38 will not be there because 38 again that 19 in 38 I cancelled with 19 square actually, right? So it again starts with now like 39 into and it goes like 40, 41 and it goes till 56 factorial actually, right? Let me just write it uh, along here, okay? So this is 56 factorial here, right? So what is missing here? So 119 is missing here and 138 is missing here, right? So basically that number I have cancelled out. A 19 is left here and I will say 19 is square is my cancellation factor, right? Again, a beautiful concept, right? Okay. So 1 to 20, 1 to 18, then 20 to 37 and then 39 to 56. Uh, sorry, not factorial, right? I'm sorry. Okay. So this is 19 is square, right? Now this is the question here. Now if you understand it, guys, no, very right. This is observation question actually. Understand this. 1 to 18 will become 18 factorial, right? 1 to 18 will become 18 factorial. Okay, fine. Then... 20 to 37 now can i say that it is again 18 factorial why why tell me why because because now i'll tell you see 20 by 19 remainder is 1 21 by 19 remainder is 2 22 by 19 remainder is 3 till 37 by 19 remainder is 18 right so it's somewhat again 1 to 18 again becomes 18 factorial here right that's the observation here okay then Again, if you move forward, again into, okay? Look at this, into, right? Into. Into what? Now, 39 is there, 40 till 56 is there, right? So, 39 by 19, what's the remainder? Now, again, if you see it, again, remainder is 1. So, 39 by 19, again, remainder is 1, okay? 40 by 19, remainder is 2. Till 58 by 19, remainder is again 18, right? This third also becomes 18 factorial, okay? But with, with, one in this 38, this 38 was 2 into 19, right? So this 19 I cancelled, but this 2 actually remained here, okay? So this 2 remained here, this 2 will not go anywhere, right? This, this So it will it will include a 2 also, right? It has to include a 2 also with it, okay? Right? This is what, this is the result I got, okay? Now divide by what? Divided by 19. This remainder I am finding, right? And obviously, at the end, multiply by 19 square. Okay. Now, what I am getting here, guys? 18 factorial cube I am getting. Divide by 19. And then remainder, sorry, into 2 also. Okay. Into some 19 square, right? That's the cancellation factor, actually. This is the cancellation factor. Right? Those are not, those are not, those, those who do, do, does not know this, right? You can go in this remainders play, playlist of number system and you can see this fund of cancellation factor right now 18 now as per the wilson's theorem i know that i know that 18 factorial by 19 remainder is what minus 1 because the wilson's theorem states that for any prime number p uh, p minus 1 upon p minus 1 factorial upon p will give a remainder of minus 1 so once 18 factorial by 19 remainder is minus 1 here so can i write that this is minus 1 cube into 2 upon 19 right this actually becomes what this becomes minus 2 okay this is minus 2 and this is 19 square 
Now, if this remainder is minus two here, right? This is minus two. So in terms of positive remainder, right? So minus two by ninety. Notice that. So minus two when when remainder of minus two will come, its positive remainder must be seventeen, right? So now it's like that. This part remainder is actually seventeen, okay? And then into nineteen is square, okay? So now it's like three sixty one into seventeen. That is thirty six hundred ten and. Six one three seven, right? So six one three seven is the answer. This is question actually. That's it, right? So actually, this is the funda behind this. I hope it is clear to everyone. Okay, uh, this beautiful remainder question here. Okay. Now let's move to next one, guys. Yeah, again a very good question. This one. Look at this question, guys. A natural number n, which has which is not a perfect cube, has exactly four factors. The sum of the positive factors of n that are less than n is twenty fourteen. Find the sum of digits of n. Okay, so natural number n, which is not a perfect cube, has exactly four factors. Okay, now understand it, guys. Any natural number has got four factors. How do you write this? We know this, right? We should write this, no? So what is four factors? Means what? It should be in the form of what? Could be p cube, any prime number cube, because What is power factor is power plus one. What is fact power factor minus one? Number of factor minus one. Okay, or it could be if I want to break in two parts like four into four as two into two. Basically, basically I'm trying to split into two prime numbers here, p one and p two. Okay, so p one raised to one and p two raised to one because p one has factor two, so power one. P two has factor two, so power one, right? But it says that it is not a perfect cube, right? That means this is not the case actually. Okay, that means this case I am going forward here. Okay, now tell me, guys. That means n is equal to something p one into p two form. Okay, if n is equal to p one into p two form, how many factors it is? How many factor it has? It has like factor like it has factors here. It has factors like one, then p one, then p two, and then p one p two, right? For example, you can take an example. You can take example of six here, right? If n is equal to six, that means what is six here? Two into three, p one into p two. How many factors are six? One will be that first will be one, then one will be other prime number that is two, then the other prime number three, and then combined is six. That is p one into p two, right? So that's what I'm writing here. That any number is of the form p one p two. Its factors are what? Its factors are n is equal to six. Ah, huh. and then n is equal to p one and p two. Uh, one p one p one. Ah, uh, sorry, one p one p two p one p two here. Okay, fine. Now it's it says that it says that actually, uh, the sum of positive factors of n that are less than n is twenty fourteen. Okay, so sum of positive factors of n right that are less than n. So how many this actually this p one p two is n only no? This p one p two is a factor of n that is n only right? That means sum of positive factors of n that are less than n. How many factors are less than n? One p one and p two. So should I write one plus p one plus p two is equal to twenty fourteen? Right. That means p one plus p two should be equal to twenty thirteen. If p one plus p two is equal to twenty thirteen, so I know that sum of two prime numbers is twenty thirteen. Right. Now quite a quite a hint here, right? Because sum of two prime numbers is an odd number. If sum of two prime numbers is an odd number, so or there there is only one even prime that is two. So only one even prime is two. That means the one number has to be two here, right? Then only I'll get sum of two prime numbers as odd number. Otherwise, if one number is not not two here, I will never get this sum as two here. Yeah, actually, fine. That means sum of two prime numbers because prime numbers are generally odd. Odd plus odd is even, right? So now if a prime number is even, so p one is two. That other p two is ah uh, twenty eleven, right? Even plus odd is odd. Okay, that means what I needed to find here. So value of n. What is the value of n, guys? N is p one into p two. What is p one into p two? I got p one as two and p two as twenty eleven, right? And I I know that what you must be thinking that this two was zero one was the prime number, right? The so question is said like that, no? Okay, it must be a prime number, right? We don't need to check it also. Okay, that is four zero two two. So what is the question? Sum of digit as uh, digits of n. So n. Four plus zero plus two plus two, that is equal to six. That's the answer, right? That's a new way of asking question in this CAD, this CAD exam, right? Because the options, because the options are these days they are uh, exam. The people who are studying the questions are pretty uh, become pretty smarter actually. 
they, they won't give the options approach and all very less question you can play options approach uh, 50% are theta questions and in the other 50% which are options they they like find the sum of all possible values of x sign the sum of digits of n they'll put like this okay that you are if they like if they don't then they, they don't want these days to use options right that people should use options okay they want you to solve so it's okay that's how we study right okay so okay so that's it right for this video guys okay uh, so again just to remind you uh, do give this test actually i want all of you to give this test uh, we have prepared a very nice question bank and it is absolutely free for everyone okay so i want all of you to give this and i want uh, a good number of competition okay utilize this a uh, lot of effort we've been put by us actually to bring this on high quality software and a high quality question bank for free okay so utilize this uh, i'll pin the comment in uh, pin the link in the comment okay enroll to this okay thank you for watching bye bye see you in the next video